Hello there guys and welcome to another combat mission Black Sea Let's Play as the Separatists of Donetsk. Now recently since our last video which was kind of just a preview a lot of awesome things have happened. Number one I have added a number of different uh, modifications to this particular game. One of them being that we actually have real soldiers from Donetsk now in the battlefield instead of just Russian soldiers. And in fact I'm going to go ahead and show you guys uh, we're going to have to stall the attack just for a little bit but I'm going to go ahead and actually I want to first of all bring these guys into position. Um, we're going to go ahead and once again set up in the uh, forest area. Uh, but we're going to have one of these guys dismount uh, so that you guys can see the cool new units and the way they kind of look. Let's go ahead and dismount there and we will get started. Um, and we've actually now got units with uniforms that look like they're from the Donuts People's Republic, uh, which really adds a layer of depth to the game. Let's take a look here. Look at that. As you can see, some of them don't even have helmets. These are true rebel troops. Um, some of them don't have helmets. Some of them have uh, DPR armbands, which is just amazing. So now we can truly recreate uh, our liberation of Donetsk campaign. So we're starting here, of course, on the first battle uh, in which we need to try and get as close to Dnieprovetsk as possible. Right now, apparently, Ukrainian army units are waiting for us. So we need to be very careful with what we do and how we approach. All right, let's see how our tank's doing looks to be doing pretty well there. First main battle tank. And of course, we've got another main battle tank here, and we don't want these guys getting blown up uh, like they did last time. So we're going to be very, very careful with them as we move them forward. Uh, but more or less, I think I know how I want to set up. I want to set up on this line right here, uh, sort of a hill overlooking the dairy farm, uh, and just wait and get ready for some serious combat. Of course, we know we don't have to worry about anything in Rakove because it is a pro-DPR village. Let's go ahead and grab these guys. And we'll go to uh, movement and go ahead and quick move them over into this wooded area. Um, as for these guys, one of the tanks I'm going to send up this way. Uh, the other tank I'm going to actually send off to the left. Um, but we're going to keep them all essentially in front of this foresty area. We're really going to try to take control of this area entirely. Um, and we're going to send one of these guys there. I actually want to send one of these guys... Uh, to a different area. So let's go ahead and cancel his movement and we'll quick move him over here. Uh, let's also get these guys moving as well. So we are approaching this village. The Ukrainians don't actually know that we're attacking. They don't expect us to be attacking because this is the very start of the war. Uh, but once they realize that we are on their tail, they're definitely going to put up a nice fight. So here we go. I don't like that these guys are so close together, but uh, hopefully they can provide support for one another. There we go with the mighty DPR. Um, I also changed the look of the units or the vehicles so they look more DPR-like, a little uh, rubbier and rougher. And another thing that I added is a realistic bullet sound. So you guys are going to hear a lot more whizzing of bullets, things like this. Uh, there's a lot of great mods to download for this mission and for this uh, for this game. Come on, boys. So far, we got no eyes on the enemy, and that's probably a good thing. I'm going to actually go ahead and speed up there a little bit, uh, and we'll go ahead and continue there. Hopefully we'll spot one of these Ukrainian tank units pretty soon. Alright, we've got infantry approaching here, or I should say we're approaching with our infantry. And I probably want to let these guys out pretty soon, because the worst thing that could happen is that we get ambushed and all of the infantry inside gets killed um, because we didn't dismount them. So let's hope that we can dismount pretty soon here uh, and get our rebels on the ground. Look how quickly our guys are moving across this field. No contacts as of yet. In fact, we're going to go ahead and speed up our advance. And there we go. Already we have some enemy contact, so I'll go ahead and stop because battle could pop off at any minute at this point. And there we go. The enemy's firing. Whoa. Very, very close there. Uh, we are returning fire. And actually, we got a penetrating hit there on one of their vehicles, it looks like. I'm going to take a look at what vehicle that was. Uh, we may have just destroyed a Ukrainian vehicle in the first few seconds of battle, or first few minutes, more realistically. That is awesome, guys. So we did get a kill there on a first infantry fighting vehicle, BMP-2. Um, we won't have to worry about that anymore, and I'm going to start uh, dismounting a lot of our troops so that we can start moving into the dairy farm. Uh, let's go ahead. Actually, I could probably move up a little bit more, but I'm going to dismount some of these guys fully. So we're going to go ahead, and with this guy, we're just going to go ahead. We'll dismount this fellow here. And as soon as he dismounts, I want him to move in a cover over here in the forest. 
uh, and possibly then he can hunt in the direction of this forest over here. Uh, I'm going to do the same with my ATGM. He's going to dismount. And we just want to get these guys in a position that they don't get all killed uh, if the vehicle goes up in flames. Uh, and we also have one unit here we can dismount. Why not? Let's go ahead and do the same with him. We also have some air support guys, so we may want to use that pretty soon here. Uh, I'm going to wait until I use it, but uh, eventually that's something that I definitely want to consider here. Uh, these guys will keep moving forward. In fact, I'm going to send these guys into the region over here with the hunt option on because I know they're going to have infantry units in this area. Uh, so they're going to go ahead and hunt there. And we're definitely going to go ahead and dismount some of these fellows here. Uh, so let's actually stop this vehicle. Stop. Uh, and dismount. And I'm going to have him move into this forest area. Uh, same with this unit here. Hopefully the enemy doesn't have any actual bunkers in this area. I know last time they actually did, uh, but this time it doesn't seem like there is anybody here, which is either a good or bad thing, which might mean they have moved all of their troops back to the dairy farm. Uh, as for this vehicle, I'm going to go ahead and try to flank the enemy a bit and move them over here. I don't think it's going to work, but we might as well try it out, right? Let's see where this guy's going. All right, we definitely want to get him into a safer location. Let's put him behind that forest, and then we will start opening fire with him and uh, releasing our troops. So let's go ahead. I think we're more or less good. So we got a lot of reinforcements that just arrived. Beautiful. If you guys, you boys want to join the fight for uh, Donetsk, of course you can join. Uh, and I'm going to send them over here to this wooded area. Uh, let's make sure we got that. And let's go ahead, end the turn, and see what happens. And I also want you guys to get a cool look at the troops we have here. And hopefully in this turn we'll get a good look at them. So let's go ahead and take a look at the positions. And I also sort of uh, dismounted these guys, but I did not. That is my fault. Sorry about that, guys. There we go, opening fire. Wow, our guys are opening heavy fire on that location. And there we go, there are our People's Republic of Donetsk troops. And as you can see, uh, the uniforms totally changed. Some of them have cool baklavas. Some of them have uh, white uh, banners or bandanas around their arms. Uh, very, very cool stuff here. So I hope that we can enjoy this uh, Let's Play. Unfortunately, one of these vehicles looks like it's in a lot of trouble. We also have some enemy infantry right here. We've gone right on top of them. Um, and actually, they penetrated one of our hulls. That's not good. That is Ukrainian infantry, as you can see. Uh, they actually have um, uniforms uh, as, as such. And right now, uh, our tank crew is fighting with them. Or I should say our APC crew. Come on, boys. You can do this. We got more penetration on that vehicle. Uh, and I just want to keep that up as long as possible. All right, let's see if our guys can at least get one kill here. He's got a submachine gun, some sort of submachine gun that he's using to fight the enemy. Uh, and if we can stop our men from moving any further, I certainly will. Uh, let's go ahead and this guy we can get out. So we're going to go ahead and dismount him for sure. And hopefully he can return fire here a bit. First of all, we have to stop the vehicle. Oh, he's already on the ground. Fair enough. Sorry, guys. Um, so we're going to go ahead and hunt over here, and we'll do the same with our infantry units here. We're going to hunt forward, and actually we're already on the hunt button, but we really want to... Yeah, it's already set. That's good. Uh, let's go here. Maybe we'll dismount a few units. I'll leave the tank right there, and actually I'm going to move this APC directly into this dairy farm. Uh, we're going to do the same with this one right here. We're going to cancel the movement, and once again we're moving directly into the dairy farm area. If we could take that area, we're going to have a really easy fire support... Um, position and I'm also going to move our rebels up here too as well as these guys we want to move everybody we can as quickly as possible because if we get hit or we get targeted then at least some of our guys can make it through and survive uh, while the other is unfortunately probably won't uh, live very long let's go ahead and cancel movement for him and quick move him to the dairy farm as well and see how this works uh, also I don't want to forget about these guys this turn so let's grab them and have them move up over here on the far right uh, just in case the enemy has more infantry in that area and let's go ahead and end the turn all right here we go I want to see what happens with our driver here oh he's definitely prepared to fight he may have killed some here we go shoot shoot definitely getting some shots off I don't know if you got any kills Fog of War is a bit heavy right now. Uh, they may have actually pulled out. Alright, let's take a look over here at the actual... What's going on in this sector. Looks like the enemy has a tank there. I'd really love to take that tank out. And it looks like our tank is trying to fire on him and take him out as quickly as possible. But 
Uh, it really depends here who gets the shot first. There we go, another shot, and boom, we got it, but we also got our APC. Thankfully, this APC was the empty one, uh, did not have any troops in it, which is just awesome. Uh, we don't have to lose an entire bunch of troops, and we also destroyed an enemy tank, and I believe that was almost certainly an ATGM hit uh, from our vehicle. Look at that thing. That thing is gone. Finished. No more Ukrainian tank to bother us. There we go. There's a lot of fire happening over here, and now we know that the enemy has men in the dairy farm. Um, of course, our rebels continue to move forward, and actually, they're trying to move forward pretty cautiously, because it looks like one of them has gone down here. He's been hit. Poor Oleg, um, and the rest of these guys are moving up as quickly as they can. Let's take a look at some of the baklavas here that they have. Um, they all have different patterns. Some have skulls. Uh, some just are just black baklavas with nothing on them. Uh, this guy looks like he has a skull on. That's really, really interesting. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the new mod, and I hope you guys are ready for this new campaign. Uh, I hope we have fun with it. I think it's really cool. And uh, if we can get enough people to watch it, we will certainly keep fighting this battle. Thank you so much, guys. Take care, and have an awesome, awesome day.